What a nice, lovely day to be spending your money from your own business. Oh, oh, right. My, my money. Yeah, yeah your money. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, my money. What uh, happened? What happened? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, uh, What's uh, going on? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Why are you laughing nervously? Our clients are just not working with us anymore. They, they keep choosing other businesses. I wonder why, huh? Uh, well, anyways, we we were here to spend money, so, so, yeah. haha, yeah. Fine. Hmm. Let me put the ticket in here. Well, time to spend it. Put the diamonds okay. in here. Press well, the button. I hope you win. I hope you win to get so much money. Yeah, so much money. money. Uh, look, we have one more ticket left. Huh? Hello, wonderful beings of this world. This is a funny gambling. Oh my gosh, I have a weird elytron. Ew. Ew. Everything in my inventory. Ew. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Ew. But this is the cool gambling machine that you just saw in that really weird, loud video. I'm sorry if your ears got hurt, but this is the entire machine here with the missing block. So, the way it works is that you just put a diamond into this dropper, so the input dropper right here. I'm just going to put one in so we can test and everything. And then we press the button. Then we're going to go through a bunch of these Julio things. And then it'll just land on one random one, which is completely random. And it landed on a bad one. So we don't care about this one. We want it to land on this one. But let's just test the item sorter. So if we put a random item in here and press the button, absolutely nothing will happen. This item will stay in the dropper, which is great. We want that to happen. We don't want people to scam us. So we're just going to put these diamonds in and try to win. Now, last time I tried this, I was recording for 17, 17 goes. And I didn't win this oh god this is gonna happen again i don't want it to happen again i just want to win so we're just gonna try this a couple times there we go and then once it lands on the middle we get three diamonds and a cool bell noise and those three diamonds just went off into the void the cool thing about this um gambling machine is that it's self-restockable meaning that the items that you put into it We'll just go straight through and go into this output dropper, which is a payout dropper. And theoretically, if someone isn't like lucky as dream, ha ha ha, then um, <laughs> they will eventually, there will not be any like, you know, underflow of this because there are five items and three in here that get dispensed each time. So theoretically, the thing should restock itself. That's theoretically. I'm not sure if that'll actually happen, but we'll just hope for the best. And this is the redstone. It's only four wide if you consider this part, which, I mean, I guess you have to consider. Although, you could technically bring it out till here. So, I would, yeah, I would say it's four wide right now, but I could make it three wide. But then the payout wouldn't be at the bottom, so whatever. But this is, yeah, this is a four wide contraption. I really overkilled color coding in this design. As you can see, we have, like, ten different colors. It's like a neon arrangement. And I say ten, there's, like, four, but I, you know, I love to exaggerate how lab loves to exaggerate but before we get into this let me do a little um plug to someone rex stone oh my gosh such a great youtuber go subscribe to him because i originally got this whole concept from him and this kind of got my youtube channel going in the first place so make sure to go check out his video i'll leave it in the top of the description so what you need to build this thing is a bunch of blocks for decoration obviously but the bare bone stuff is oh 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 boy, I forgot this coolio thing. A button. There we go. So, let me get rid of that. And this is what you need. You need five redstone lamps, 12 redstone repeaters, two comparators, five hoppers, a composter, three chests, a piston. I'm not going to read the rest because I have no need to. You can see them right there. Also, just make sure you know that these do not have to be slabs. They can be glass as well because cool. And as well as that, what else? You don't need these things three things but you only need them if you want the sound effect otherwise you don't need them and you can replace these with any solid block 
So we're gonna start with the front layout of our build. And I know I didn't include concrete and diamond blocks in the materials list, but it's not required to make the machine operate. All it's for is for decoration. So what we're going to do is just place our five lamps in an array like this. It is not easily expandable because bedrock addition and signal strength and all that stuff, but there we go. This is the front layout we want. And then we're going to go one, two, three temporary blocks that way to the left of our machine. So this is the front right here. So three blocks to the left and then place a dropper going inwards. I'm pretty sure I got the right amount of length there. Now we get rid of those three blocks. Now what we can do is we can place one dropper two blocks down right there in the ground. So this would be the ground and then you would shoot the diamond out to us. So now we're just going to place a block right there. I'm just gonna grab the block I had over here because they're cool blocks and I love blocks, oh my gosh. Then we're gonna put that block there and no, not that block, this block here, and then one block here. This is just a diamond block you're gonna put up here. So I can actually just put a diamond block in that spot because cool, there we go. Now we're gonna place our button on this block right here. This is the block that's going to power the whole thing. This is what's going to start the system. Now we're going to place two hoppers beneath this, um, next to this dropper, actually technically three. So temporary block right here, hopper going into that block, break that block that you went into, and then hopper going into there, and then I'm pretty sure temporary block there, and hopper going into there. Now you can test that by just putting a random item in here, and then it should go all the way to the bottom dropper. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our item sorter circuit. So I'm just gonna grab some wool, here we go, and there we go, nice. Now we're just going to put our block right here, and then we're going to put a comparator on top of that block, like so. And then we're going to go two blocks to the side and put redstone dust in each of them. Then we're going to grab our regular piston, which is right here, and we're going to put that right next to this redstone dust, so facing downwards right next to that redstone dust. Then we're going to put a redstone torch on the side of that piston, so on the side facing the hoppers, so right there. Two blocks under that redstone torch, or rather next to this bottom hopper, we're going to place a slab or glass, doesn't matter, but just right there next to that slab, so the hitbox is kind of a line, then we're not gonna fall, we're gonna put a redstone dust right there. And as well as that, we're going to put a chest next to this bottom, I guess, slab, and then a hopper on top, a composter on top of that, a hopper on top, and then two chests right next to it. In that chest, we're going to put a lot of sugar cane, which I did not put in the material list, but you can pretty much use different wildlife for or rather different natural materials four different lengths of spin time. And I'll probably find a, I'll put a chart in the description. But yeah, just pretty much just load this top chest up with as much natural resource as you can. And there we go, we're just gonna fill it up with sugar cane. Coming out of this composter, we're going to place two blocks, or rather three blocks in this shape right here. So kind of like a cross shape. We're going to place a composter, <laughs> composter, lovely. We're gonna place a comparator coming out of this composter facing towards the bulk part of the circuit, and then a comparator facing that comparator. Now we're going to put a composter here and fill that composter up entirely. So we're just going to not put, oh gosh, we have chests in the system. We love that. No, we cannot compost chests. We're gonna fill this comparator up all the way with our any wildlife, it doesn't matter. We just have to fill that up all the way till we see the bone meal type thing on the top. We do not wanna click that ever. It's gonna stay loaded forever. And I rhymed, oh my gosh. Then we're going to put a repeater in front of this comparator, so right here. And this is what's going to be locking the entire circuit. So what we're going to do now is place the fun part of the circuit. So we're going to grab five emerald blocks, or emerald, oh my God, our emerald blocks and our note blocks, okay? We're gonna put our emerald blocks on the bottom of these blocks, not there, but the bottom of these and the note blocks on top of them so they power the lamps. So they're right next to the lamps. These are what's gonna power them. Put a block here, a block here, a block here, here, and here. And then right to the side here, we're going to put another block and then another block going down and we can just put redstone dust on each of these blocks. Now in between these note blocks, we're going to put repeaters. So a repeater there, one there, here, here, and here. Now right here, we're actually, I'm pretty sure we have to replace, no, we don't actually have to replace that. Oh no, I'm sorry. We're going to place a block right here and another block right there. So redstone dust on each of those as well. Then we're going to go down to the side with our redstone dust line, so just towards the main bulk of the circuit, so that goes one block down, and then it goes to the side. Then we're going to lead this redstone dust all the way around, so lead that block all the way down to this redstone dust, and fill it up all the way. So what we should have is a clock 
kind of. We didn't really activate it yet, but if we send a one tick pulse through this, so let me just grab a redstone block and a torch, just send a one tick pulse through it, then it's just gonna go around like that. But right now we don't have our notes set, so it's gonna sound stupid and ugly. Time for tuning the note blocks. For the first one, we're going to click this six times, so one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one, we're going to click 13 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Next one, I'm pretty sure 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Next one, we're going to click 11, or wait, no, 13 times. I forgot how many times I clicked this, but we're up to the fifth interval. So let's keep going. The same amount of times as this one, I kind of forgot, but it doesn't matter. This one we're going to click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Yeah, that's, there we go. There, I can't, I've been trying to tune these note blocks for the past 15 minutes. It's not going well. But now we can do the next part of our circuitry, which is grabbing another wool color, which I'm just going to go to this and take a cheeky look at it. Oh boy, I did that. And then we're just going to put a block here, 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 and then put a slab right here. So just a slab right there. Then we're going to put repeaters into all of these repeaters like that. Then we're going to put a block in front of this last repeater. So this is the back of the circuit, this repeater right here. And then we're going to put redstone rather blocks all the way over here. Also, sorry for the jittery frames. It is not my fault that I have a quite literally a computer over there in my simulation distance, but okay. Then we're going to just put blocks or rather redstone dust going straight through here. And then we're just going to actually, no, we have a funny thing to do as well. So we have to just grab a glass block, which I did leave out of the materials list. And we're going to put that right in front of the middle thing with the diamond block. You don't have to use a diamond block, but right in front of the middle note block. And then we're going to put redstone dust on top of this right here. And then right next to this note block right here, we're going to place a regular sticky piston facing downwards. And then we're going to put an observer on the side of it. And I also left the observer, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put this in the description. Or rather, I'm just gonna edit it in because I can edit now, yay. And we're gonna put an observer right next to that. We're going to go two blocks down from this emerald block and place a repeater on top of it. Then we're going to put a block right here with redstone dust on the side of it, or rather on top of it. Then we're going to put a hopper right, oh God, I right here, there we go. There we go, hopper right there. Then we're gonna put a four tick redstone repeater on it. So we place it down and click it three times. Then we're going to put observers in front of both of those. So observer here and here facing to the left side. So facing that way. Then we're gonna have that uh, block on the side of the bottom observer, then a redstone dust on top of that. Then that's going to go all the way here into a block right next to the bottom dropper with redstone dust on top of all of it. That is pretty much gonna be a three pulse generator and you can change the pulses. I'll show you probably at the end of the video. I'll probably forget, but I don't care. We're just going to have three pulses for now. And then that's going to just power this. And right next to that, we're going to put a note block with a gold block on the bottom. This pretty much just gives the wind noise, which is cool. So we're just gonna put a block of gold right there. And then we're going to click it one, two, three, four, five, six times. And that would just make the cool wind noise. So if I was to activate this, with a one tick pulse, just gonna put an observer right there. You can see, there you go. And that's pretty much just the wind system done. So now we just have to do, I'm pretty sure this almost all the circuitry. Actually, believe it or not, that is entire, that's the entire thing done, oh my gosh. So all we have to do is send a one tick pulse through the bottom circuit. So what we're going to do is temporarily remove this redstone dust, which can actually become a block, so we'll do that later. And then all we have to do is send a one tick pulse through the bottom, which you can do by just putting a redstone lamp or rather block right there and then putting a torch on top. And then you can just activate this bottom blue line. Then you can just put a block in front of this repeater and then that will lock all the hoppers and then that will mean your system works. So we can test that by putting, oh yeah, we never actually made our item sorter. Okay, it was too good to be true. We have to actually get some diamonds. So. I'm just gonna data pick this hopper. This is pretty much what the inside of your hopper should look like. So 18 diamonds on the first slot, then a bunch of diamonds in the next one, all single stacked. And I can just replace this hopper with it right here. So here we go. We have a full 18 diamond thing right here. This is what the inside of your top hopper should look like. And then I'm just gonna grab some diamonds myself 
right here. Let's just, okay, there we go. And then we can put these in the, to the dropper. This is our paying dropper. And then we can just, no, not put a button in there. What am I doing? Then we just press this button and the machine should start. So then we have this all going through. And if we land on the middle one, then we will win, which I doubt will happen. But the way that works is because when we land on the middle one, this, um, I guess, observer going down here, instead of emitting a C tick, which would not activate this repeater, it then emits a normal redstone tick, so instead it has the time to emit both a C tick and a P tick, which means then the producer, which is this repeater, can activate, then this whole three tick pulse thing happens, and then there we go. So let's just activate this till we win and make sure our payout works. There we go, we won, diamonds are going into the void, wasted. Life decisions regretted, oh my gosh. So, now it's time to end the video with bloopers from that cool cutscene thing you saw at the beginning because it was very fun to record and very, very good. So, now we're just going to go do some bloopers and haha, -ha, I'm Santa Claus, ho ho, ho ho ho. Okay, blooper time. Digger, like, be evil. It's been going downhill and we're, we're losing money very rapidly. <laughs> oh, it's inside. It's inside of the job okay.